For a week, this community has been searching its soul. How did it miss signs two of its young men had murder in their hearts? Randall Brown, whose son was a student at Columbine, has told CBS News he saw the rage in Eric Harris and on his website, and it scared him. Today, CBS News obtained a copy of the web pages. The signs were clear and chilling. Harris wrote, I just kill. God, I can't wait till I can kill you people. I'll just go to some downtown area in some big city and blow up and shoot everything I can. Feel no remorse, no sense of shame. I don't care if I live or die in the shootout. All I want to do is kill and injure as many of you as I can. He went on to write, You all better hide in your houses because I'm coming for everyone soon. And I will be armed to the teeth. And I will shoot to kill. And I will kill everything. We took it to the police over a year and a half ago, and uh, nothing was done. So when the killing started at Columbine High, Brown wasn't surprised to hear the name Eric Harris. That day, his wife Judy was at the home of her good friend, Sue Claybold, the mother of the second gunman. Judy told NPR News that first they didn't know Dylan Klebold was involved. As police searched the house, Dylan's mother was glued to the TV. She wants to know, is it my son? He's telling him, let me go up there. If it is my son, I can stop him. We didn't know if it was Dylan. We kept praying it wasn't. Then Brown's son, Brooks, called. Then he said, Mom, it's Dylan. They just put it on the TV. I said, did you see it or did they say it? He said, Mom, it's in writing, Dylan Klebold. So I told her.